pals, coming up on this week's episode of Go With The Heat, we're replaying all our favorite moments from this season of Miami Vice in our Season 4 clip show. On this week in Vice, we're looking at the summer between Season 4 and 5. This week, we're taking a look back to June 12th to July 16th, 1988, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on July 3rd, Iran Air Flight 655 was shot down by the U.S. Navy after the jet did not respond to attempted contact from the U.S. vessel. The aircraft was destroyed and killed all 290 people on board, including 65 children. In 1996, nearly a decade after the tragedy, the U.S. agreed to pay $131 million in a settlement with the Families and International Court of Justice. In a sports roundup, Mike Tyson KOs Michael Spinks in 91 seconds. Cal Ripken Jr. plays his 1,000th consecutive game with the Orioles, the Yankees fire Billy Martin, and the newly minted Miami Heat and Charlotte Hornets enter the expansion draft. In music, in this time frame, there are four songs that would reach the top of the Hot 100. Three came from artists who have recently been seen at the top, including Together Forever by Rick Astley, Foolish Beat by Debbie Gibson, and Dirty Diana from Michael Jackson. Each of these songs would be on the top spot for just one week. Rounding out this section of the summer is The Flame from the amazing band Cheap Trick. From the album Lap of Luxury, The Flame was the pinnacle song of the band's comeback. The album would have four singles that would answer the Hot 100, and this song would be an international hit. Although not written by the band, it was still performed live and is one of the band's most recognizable songs. In movies, this week in movies is really, really tough as three fantastic movies reach number one at the box office. First, a personal favorite. I can understand if you don't particularly care for it, but it's still good to me is Red Heat. Starring James Belushi and Arnold Schwarzenegger, it's a classic mismatched buddy cop story in which a freestyle New York cop is partnered with an intense Russian. But since I know you don't want to discuss the things I like, let's get to the two other classics. Released on June 22nd is Who Framed Roger Rabbit, which is actually an underappreciated film that came out years before computer animation became the norm. The combination of tunes and regular actors pushed this film to be a critical and commercial success. But the most important movie released in this time is maybe the decade's best romantic comedy. Starring Eddie Murphy, Arsenio Hall, and a deep cast is the classic Coming to America. Full of deep jokes and one-liners that have stood the test of time, Coming to America is easily in the group of greatest comedies ever. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show GoWithTheHeat at gmail.com or follow us on Twitter at GoWithTheHeat. That's all for this week. Bye, pals. 